Okay, this is Dane Hatcher here with Service Thread. I'm gonna go over a few things to check on a sewing operator's end for thread quality. First thing you check would be UV damage on your nylon threads. So if you have a spool that looks dingy, set it to your side, do not use it. Remember that nylon thread can be damaged by light. So always keep your thread in a package, in a box away from UV light before you use it. Check your bond level of your thread. So most sewing threads are cabled, meaning that they have more than one end. So you would take between your fingers and twist against the twist of the thread, see if it opens up like this. That's not good bond. You can have issues sewing with this. Sometimes it will work, but you may have issues. Here's a good bond. So you put it between your fingers, twist, does not come apart. Your twist level, so Check and see if the spiral looks uniform. If it does not look uniform, there's something going on with the twist or one of the ends. If you run pre-wound bobbins, you want to check for bobbin tack. So you would pull the end, one of the, you know, the end of the bobbin, pick it up, see if it drops to the table or to the ground. If it's hard to pull the thread off, you know, meaning you got you can shake it very hard and it does not come off tack is too high that'll cause excessive tension with your bobbin you should be able to just gently shake it and it falls down if you shake it and it falls down fast you know you don't even have to shake it you pick it up and it falls down then you do not have enough tack what that can do is the bobbin when you when you're sewing you stop the bobbin and twist around and then that thread can go under the bobbin and get stuck there that'll cause a thread break also, you want to check your lube of your top thread. If your package was very shiny, that may not be a real indication. You can feel it sometimes, but there are different kinds of lubes. So what you would check for is you will be sewing. Look at your webbing. If your webbing has needle points in it, you're either sewing too fast, you do not have enough lube, or you need a needle cooler. If you're sewing and you have flaking going on, meaning the thread is looks like snow coming off the machine, you either have a sharp point somewhere on the machine or the thread does not have enough lube on it or the bond is incorrect. So that's how you check for lube. If the machine is sewing fine, you do not have wax buildup on any of your guides and you don't have flaking or, or snow looks like, then your lube should be fine. Again, this is Dane with Service Thread. Thank you for watching.